Hey, it's Dan Nickerson. This is a tutorial on the Amazon ad page template that comes with the MetaDomainer plugin. So you can see one of my example uh, demos here. This is discountgolfproducts.com and it actually is loading this page, the My Domain Stack discountgolfproducts.com page. You can see I have a title, I have a description, and I have some Amazon ads related to golf products. There's also a button that will lead to Amazon Store. So if I click on this, it's going to load up Amazon golf products directly. And if I scroll down, you'll see a disclaimer notice and also a copyright notice and a privacy and contact. So I'm going to show you how to customize this and how this is all set up. Okay. So the first thing you're going to notice, uh, the first thing you want to do is go to our documentation page. And this is where we describe the Amazon ad page. And most recently, I want to mention that Amazon updated their terms and conditions. And you need to have this particular disclaimer on, their, on your disclaimer. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second as well. So most importantly, you need an Amazon ads account. So if you don't have an Amazon ads account, you can apply here. There are many restrictions on Amazon ads, so approval is not guaranteed and we're not affiliated with Amazon in any way. So if you can't get approved for Amazon, then or maybe you just want to use another one of our templates. So first thing you need if you are approved is you want to generate a tracking ID and we have a direct link that leads to the page that does that. So if I click this link, it's going to load up because uh, I'm logged in. It's going to actually load up the native search ads. So you can see here I have a meta domainer uh, tracking ID. So this is the tracking ID. If you don't have one, you can create one. So you can create one specifically for your domain templates, per domain, whatever you want to do. Most people will just kind of use one and then they'll set up a link ID per page. So you can see right here, this is showing watches. So I just need to type in a term. So let's just think of a term. So let's just say it's gardening, for example. I can type in the word gardening. And I'm just going to click anywhere outside of this, and it's going to change to gardening products. Do you see that? And now what you're going to do is you're going to see code below here. This is actually the full code, and this will make sense in a second. You'll see all these different variables, right? Most importantly are the keyword, key phrase is gardening, and the link ID is here. Now all our template does is just automatically insert this code for you into the template. If you wanted to, you could paste this code in. We actually have a short code I'm going to show you as well that works. You can change the title and there are advanced settings in here as well. But for the most, for the most part, you're fine just using this default grid uh, layout. Okay. So this is the code. So you want to highlight this code and you can copy it. I'm just going to copy it there. I'm just going to open up a notepad and I'm just going to paste it in here so I have that actual, that code right there. Okay, now we go back to the meta domainer install and I'm going to click on add a domain. And let's just say I just registered gardening. Uh, <laughs> gardening, I can't type today. It's gardening supply depot.com. I don't know if it's available. I just made that up. It doesn't matter for the purpose of this demo. I'm going to click on Amazon ad page. Now I'm going to scroll down here and it's asking me for a tracking ID. Okay. So the tracking ID by default is this one. If you just made a new tracking ID, you would paste it here. This is the link ID. So remember that code that I took and copied? There's a link ID right here. Now you can use the same link ID for all of your Amazon ad pages if you want. However, if you want to track specifically to a domain, then you might want to just get a new link ID for each for each page. So I'm just going to paste this one in there as a new link ID. I'll leave the default there. The search phrase I just typed in was gardening. So I'll type in gardening. And I can type in a meta title here. So I'm going to type in gardening supplies. You want to look more into SEO. You can, you can check out uh, uh, better tutorials on proper meta titles and descriptions. This is a gardening, you know, supply site. I'm just doing it very basic for the purpose of this demo. And now if I do this, I will just publish this and we'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to open this in a new tab. And you see it says shop related products. There's, these are the gardening supplies. Okay. This will link off to Amazon. This is the disclosure, right? And this is my default uh, copyright and privacy in terms. Now what I wanted you to dress this up is I can just use the WordPress editor. So if I wanted to, I could type in gardening supply. I really can't type when I'm doing videos. Depot. 
and I can make that an H1 if I heading if I want. I can center it, and now if I update that again, I can reload this page, and you'll see it says Gardening Supply Depot. So it just uses the WordPress editor. And then if I want to, I can type in more text. This site has the best gardening supplies. And I could use WordPress again. I can center it if I want. And I'm going to click on Update. And I'm going to reload. And you can see now it has text in there, right? Now, if I view the source of this page, you're going to see that it has my title, Gardening Supplies. It has my description right here as well. And this is the custom CSS. Now, you're going to recognize this. This is actually the code that looks just like the Amazon code. We're just automatically including it uh, in the code for you. So that's, that's how that works. Now, we talked about the disclaimer. So this is the disclosure. And there is new disclosure terms. So as an example, this is something you need to include. And we'll, I'll be adding this to the default install as well. But I'm going to go back to edit domain. And you're going to see that we scroll down to general. This is the affiliate disclaimer. I'm going to type that in. I will copy, uh, you know, I'll copy this just text just to show you. So I'm going to add that in there. And now I'm going to click on update again. I will reload. And you're going to see that my disclosure statement just changed. OK, so that's there. OK, another thing I want to show you are the Amazon ad short codes. So I'm going to just make a I'm going to change the template here and I'm going to change this to the clean slate template. Now when I do that and click on update, I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go here and reload and you're going to see that it just made a whole clean slate. Now the background is green because that's the way I left it, right? So I can go back here and I'm just going to change the custom code. I'll get rid of the green background and I click on update and that's going to be white again. And now let's just say that I want to add in a short code. So I can go in here and I can just go here and click on Amazon ads. Now note here it says there's two styles. So I'm actually just going to, um, I'm going to leave that as is an update and just so you can see what it does. So if I reload this, notice here there's two styles. This is golf. Golf was my default keyword. And then this is finance, which was in the other one. So you notice how I automatically added those, right? So by, a, by using these short codes, you can create Amazon stores with any kind of look that you want. I can drop the small biz template in here, like so, and click on update and reload. And now you're going to see the ads here. Now you notice how it's left aligned. This is an advanced template. So why don't I just clean this up for you real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this away. And I'm going to go and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a section short code here and I'm going to drop this down a little bit here. I want to make sure this is set back to paragraph. I'm going to go there and I'm going to drop in the section single column. See that there? And now what I'm going to do is go into text mode and I'm actually just going to copy this stuff here and I'm going to drop it right in the content. Once again, it's advanced, but I just want to show you how this works. And now I'm going to click on update again and then reload and now you see it have it I have it centered in a section and that's kind of how it works so you can make a nice looking page that has the different sections and has the different Amazon ads for whatever you want for whatever keyword you want so you can change the keyword per per site you can do multiple keywords you can also add in other variables like categories and things into the short code so there'll be more documentation on that as well and uh, obviously you can change the default contact links you can see we have contact links all these other links you can change all the stuff you can add your privacy you could add uh, you can disable different elements of so forth and so forth with the Amazon this is where it gets interesting so remember this code so you have all this code here and this code will match up here so you can control once again most of you will just use the default setup you don't have to change this but if for some reason you want to change these values you can change them and so you can look here at the code and this is all the default values you can just see the ad mode ad type marketplace region and so forth uh, like the shop related products you may want to change that right you may want to change shop related products to shop related gardening supplies right 
Now you notice this default category is all. You may want to change that to books. Okay, so if I typed in books, I'll put that there, and I'm gonna click on update, and now I'm gonna reload this, and it's not. Oh, there, there are the books. So now it's only showing books and textbooks. See, so that's how you can make a a bookstore or a video store. You can use different categories from Amazon, right, to control that. In fact, I'm actually not quite sure where is the code. Oh, default category. So here are all the categories, right? So let's just see what else do we have here. Patio, lawn, and garden, right, is another category. So if you look down here, the category is home garden. So I can go back here, back to Amazon, and I can change this to, where'd it go? Home garden. There's no spaces. And I'm gonna click on update, and now these ads will change again to home and garden supplies. So it's really pretty slick. Um, obviously, if you don't want to have any text here, you can just remove it. It'll be uh, put a space in there. It'll be blank. Uh, there are other things you can do if you want to change the template. Everything is has custom CSS. So I'll just give you a quick example of how that works. If I click on Inspect and I go to the body background, you can see the background color is white. Now this is a little trick right here. See that? That changes the background. Let me go to green. Maybe I want this background to be green. It's advanced, I know. But notice how it's body, background color, and there's the green. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna copy that little text right there. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go to custom codes. I'm gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna click on update. And I'm gonna reload. It's gonna change, be the same color, but you'll see that it's live. So now I have a green background on that site. So that's how that works. Another thing to cover on Amazon is that uh, the master settings are controlled here. So this would be your master tracking ID, this would be your link ID, your search phrase, all the placement. So you can control site-wide or globally, you can make all these changes. So if you have a particular Amazon store you want to do, you can change it. And so that's, that's in a nutshell, that's how the whole Amazon function works. Uh, we'll hope to do more, add more value, but for now if you want a quick Amazon store, this is like the quickest way to get one up. The uh, other thing to mention is that some, you know, with certain browsers and ad blockers, they won't show Amazon ads. So it is important to, you know, have this button, which will, which will link there. If you do want to disable the button, you can hide it with CSS as well. If you want, you can add more text up here uh, and direct link some products. You can use the WordPress image editor to automatically add images as well. So if I go back to this domain and I could click on edit, let's say I just wanted to add my own. Uh, uh, image. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pick something. It won't be gardening related. Uh, let's just pick on. Well, I guess it will be gardening. I'll add this little thing here. But that's a big image, and it's Lance. Let me just click on right, and I'm gonna insert it into the post. And there's an image. I'm gonna click on update and reload, and now you can see I have a, a gardening related image in there. So there's lots of things you could do if you want to add a background header image. You could do that and just upload it to the top. It wouldn't fill normally, but you could make your own graphic which would fit inside the frame. So that's it for the Amazon tutorial. I hope it was helpful. More tutorials are coming. Thanks.